Hello everyone, I am going to teach you the rules of diabetic and credit. Okay, this is very important topic from our point of view or from accounting point of view. I know this is in foundation chapter for the accountancy. There is very big question mark. What should be debited and what should be credited every time while you are derived, while you are writing a general entry. Every time <clears throat> many of the students just try to memorize the general entry and they just write down the entry by learning or by remembering the general entry. Need not to be remember uh, need not to be memorizing. We will just learn the concept of debiting and creating and now we are able to understand the concept behind it. Okay. Today I am going to teach you the rules of debiting and, and creating. Before starting this topic, I just want to explain the method of double entry system. Okay. Actually, what does it mean? Double entry system, what does it mean? Simply this is various children uh, just understand that double entry system means what? Writing an entry two times. No, it's very wrong. Double entry system is that system in which in which every transaction transaction means what? Business transaction. Every business transactions affects two accounts two account at a one time it is said to be what double entry system it is now let, let me more clear it suppose a transaction happen in a business okay suppose i have purchased a furniture for the business unit for 5000 now i have purchased the furniture for 5000 that means what one account that is what furniture account will increase by 5000 and at the same time the account related to cash related to cash will decrease by 5000 that means what every debit have equal and opposite credit a system in which transactions has been recorded on the basis of double entry system in which debit and credit both have equal amount in opposite direction that is said to be what double entry system that means what one account one account is ending the benefit and one account is benefited by the benefit this is said to be what double entry system that means what if we are writing a transaction in debiting and creating way this is said to be what double entry system it is very important to know who developed the double entry system actually double entry system is nothing it is a book in which the rules of accounting has been written this book has been first of all developed by one person who is said to be what Luca Pacioli. Luca Pacioli, who is our father of accounts as well as founder of accounts. I'm repeating once again, he is the father of accounts and founder of accounts. He wrote a book, Double Entry System, in 1494. This book is being written in the in the Italian language, and he belongs to city of Venice, Italy several later on several changes has been done like use of subsidiary books use of um, you can say uh, trading account use of other account now several changes has been made and now the double entry system will become a famous way of recording transaction in our accounts today the whole entire world is being using double entry system now my topic is not so i'm going to teach you what should be debited and what should be credited. It is very important because the, children, the students belongs to 11th standard or 12th standard or BCom. They always confuse sir what to do with the debit and what to do uh, with the credit amount. Simply just follow the rules. It is very simple. Just understand it. It will make you more comfortable to do general entry. Because as we know, the, the it is a foundation topic and on which everything is based if your journal is proper then you can do your laser proper your trial balance will be fine and automatically your balance sheet will be matched if your balance sheet will be matched that means you are okay with your accounts now the next what is what what is debit sir and what is credit in general form basically children debit is an debit is an italian word which has been uh, italian word which comes from debito Debito means what? Any left hand side of the account, left hand side, left hand side of the account is said to be what? Debit. 
and the word is what credit that means it is also a italian word and <coughs> it is been taken from the word credito that means what right hand side of the account whenever we prepare the account in t-shape form as we know every account has been prepared in t-shape form okay left hand side and right hand side the <coughs> right hand side will be known as what credito and next very important thing is what in short form or in everybody form we write down the word debit in dr and credit as cr just remember the thing every time we write down the word C debit in dr and cr it is an abbreviated form of accounts okay now double entry system provides us two approaches of account regarding the rules of debiting and crediting the first one is said to be what traditional listen me carefully traditional english or british approach all these are the same one traditional english or british approach and the second next one is what modern or american approach we are not going to the american approach come to the traditional approach traditional or british or english approach are useful to us now i'm going to explain this one very carefully traditional approach of accounting children as you know this is an approach which provide us what should be debited and what should be credited so come to the classification traditional approach just divide the account in two way the first one is what personal account and second one is what in person that means classification can be done in two way personal account in personal account okay now come to the main sir what is personal account basically children personal account is that account which belongs to any individual firm any individual person company or in corporation that means what what whenever we are talking about one single identity as a person as a company or any individual unit it belongs to personal account person okay giving the example suppose ram you, if you are preparing the ram's account the sham account or any abc company account like if you are preparing the account for jargon public school that account also belongs to personal account okay now come to the rule please what is the rule for debiting or crediting the rule for debit debit the receiver and credit the giver what is debit the receiver and credit the giver what does it mean sir let me explain okay debit the receiver means any person who receives amount from the business any person who receive amount from the business should be debited and the person who gives something to the business uh, the person who gives something to the business said he uh, it can be credited i am giving the example to make it more clear suppose i have paid 5000 to mr ram i have paid 5000 to mr ram who is the receiver of cash mr ram Mr. Ram is the receiver of cash, so I can debit the uh, Ram by generalizing the entry. That means Ram should be debited because he is the receiver of cash. Ram should be debited because he receives the amount. So as per the rule, whenever any person receives anything from the business, he should be debited. And any person who should uh, give, who, who may be the giver of any anything to the business should be credited. This is the golden rules of personal account now come to the classification of a personal account channel as you you can see the three classification we have the first one is what natural person account second is what artificial person account and third one is what representative person account i'm explaining one by one very carefully natural person account okay this natural person account are those uh, account which belongs to human being that means account of all human person or human beings or person come under the category of natural person account actually natural person account is that account which account of those person who have physical existence in the world suppose we are human being and we have physical existence like we have ear we have hand anything we have uh, everything we have that means we have definite shape or size okay anything which have definite shape or size or belongs to human being come under the category of natural personal account a account which naturally exists in the world it is said to be natural personal account 
If you are preparing any personal account, right? Ram account, Sham account, or Vivan account, that means what? You are preparing the personal account. Okay, whenever being as an accountant, if you prepare any account for any person, that means what? You are preparing that natural person account. That's all. This is all about. That means overall, and all, so account of human being is a natural person account. Now, come to the next one artificial person account. As the name suggested here, artificial. Actually, artificial person account are those accounts which are related to any incorporations, firm, company, or institutions. That means what? They are not human being. They are artificially just treated like a human being. As you know, children, in business studies, you have learned the definition. What is the definition of company? So company is an artificial person created by law. Whenever you are talking about the definition of company, company is an artificial person. You already know if the company is an artificial person, then it can be categorized under the head of what? Personal, artificial person account. So, overall, and all, account related to any company, any corporation, any institution, any school, any hospital can be come under the category of artificial personal account. A account which is artificially created just like a person. Now third one is what? Representative personal account. Very easy. Representative. That means a classification of personal account which represent a, pers a specified person or a group of person. It is said to be what? Representative personal account. I am talking, I am giving you one example that will make you more clear. Okay. Suppose 10, 10 workers are working in my factory. I didn't pay the salary for June. Now I have calculated and I have prepared an account for them. The account prepared by me, the account prepared by me uh, for the outstanding salary or wages account can be considered as what? Representative personal account. That means what? It basically symbolizes a whole group. Whole group means what? If I am talking about outstanding wages account, it doesn't mean what? A one person. It means what? A lots of person or a group of person. Whenever you have, if we are talking about a representative, that means what? It symbolizes a group who belongs to a, a one specific category. Next one, very important, just listen carefully. Accounts related to outstanding accounts like outstanding wages account, prepaid income account, or unearned income, accrued commission, advanced commission, the account of five types come under the category of representative personal account. What are they? I'm just repeating one second. Account for prepaid, account for outstanding, advanced, accrued, unearned. All are the examples of representative account. I think this is all about the personal account. Children, be careful whenever you are doing journal entry or debiting or crediting, just make it clear by yourself all the three classification will follow the rules which is written on my whiteboard. That is what? Diabeting the receiver and crediting the giver. This is all about the personal account. Now I am, now I am moving to the next one. Impersonal account. What is impersonal? Sir, account which is not related to human being. As you know, if personal accounts belongs to, belongs to human being. That means what? Impersonal means account which is not belongs to human being. Okay. That means other than human being. Classification will be done in two ways. The classification is what? Real account. And other classification is nominal account. Now what is real account? Okay. Let me clarify. Real account. Anything. Anything which can be measurable, expressible or countable in terms of money or in terms of monetary terms. That means what? It come under the category of real account. That means anything can be valuable. Anything can be converted into cash, measurable into cash. That is said to be what? A real account. Okay. Uh, I am giving the more examples like machinery account, building account, uh, stock account, whatever you are preparing as an assets account, all assets belongs to real account. And what are the rules? Rules for debiting and crediting is what? Debit what comes in and credit what goes out. Debit what comes in means what? Whatever you are receiving from the business, what comes in this case. 
that bit what comes in means what what is coming in your business what is coming in your business that should be debited and what is going outside from the business that should be credited every time suppose i am giving an example furniture purchase for 10000 now just realize the entry furniture purchase what comes in in the business basically furniture comes in at the at the time of writing the journal entry you should write furniture come debit because what is coming in furniture and what is going out cash to cash account that means what we will write down we will debit the furniture and we will create the cash that means the account which is increasing should be debited and that is decreasing can be credited okay <clears throat> when you do the classification children the real account can be divided into way can be divided into two way tangible real account and intangible real account tangible real account is what as the name suggested here what is what tangible real account tangible means which can anything which can be seen and can be touched properly and it's have a value in cash that is said to be tangible that means account related to those things which can be measurable in terms of cash as well as which can be seen and touched that can be known as what tangible real account examples are building account furniture account land account building have can be seen can be touched it have a physical shape and size it value can be converted into cash so i can say it is tangible real account tangible real account next one intangible real account what is the intangible as a, it isn't just opposite of tangible intangible means what account of those things which can't be seen and can't be touched can't be seen and can't be touched means what but their value can be convertible into cash okay that means what they are not visible to us we can't touch them but value can be determined in the form of money that is intangible real account intangible real account uh, i have the example of goodwill patent copyright trademark etc etc all these are the example of intangible real account whenever very important to note down here whenever we are talking about tangible real account or intangible real account either it can be visible it, it can be seen either it can't be seen but both value can be determined in the form of money that should follow the rules of real account real account that means what whenever you are if anything coming in the inside the business inside means when the business is receiving something it should be debited and whatever is going from the business it should be credited like furniture purchase for ten thousand then furniture should be debited and what should be credited the cash will be credited okay after real account the last one is what nominal nominal account basically nominal account do not have any classification it's a very simple and it's deals with few things like expenses losses income gain as well as revenue also okay it's follow the rules very simple rule. whenever there is an expense and losses even expense and losses that should be debited very easy whenever expense happen or loss happen it should be debited and whenever the income or gain arises in the business it should be credited suppose i'm giving the one example suppose salary paid to the worker salary is an expense for the business right now if salary is an expense it should be debited whenever you are paying as a salary it should be debited that means I am giving the next example commission received fr from the business the, the business is receiving commission commission is what a uh, income income means what it should be credited that means while receiving the income the commission account will be credited very simple logic we have behind the average other entry I know children my explanation make you more clear to understand the concept regarding diverting and crediting i know when you do you can do excellence multiply when you do tables when you memorize tables when you have a perfect knowledge of this table then then you can make a journal entry more effective without making the knowledge or without breaking this perfect knowledge you can't able to do the journal entry 
so i can say this topic is a foundation stone in our journal in our accountancy okay now this is all about my explanation and this is the double entry system over and all i explain you the concept of double entry system i am summarizing once again double entry system is the system in which one transaction affects two account at a one time one is debited one is credited in opposite direction debit is a word we derive from debito left hand side of any account and what is credit so credit derived from the word credito credito it is also an uh, italian word and it is a left hand side classification of accounts are two type traditional and modern leave the modern i have taken what traditional approach and as per traditional approach our accounts of two type personal and impersonal and last one children these rules which are circled by me the rules which are circled by me they are said to be what golden rules of accounting please memorize for every time these rules debit the receiver credit the giver debit what comes in credit what goes out debit the expense and losses in and credit the income and gain these are said to be golden rules of account always be careful while dealing with the journal entry classification classification should be done first then do the journal entry this is all about for the day we will meet in the next meeting with a different topic thank you